Hello, Rockland High School students and families and our staff. I wanted to take you through a tour of Rockland High School as we prepare for the 2020-2021 school year. We're very much looking forward to seeing our students soon, but let's take a look at what our building looks like so that you know what you're in for for this upcoming school year. First, when you walk into the building, you'll arrive through three entrances. This is one of the entrances. This is the Rockland High School main office entrance. Students who are walking to school will come through this entrance wearing their mask, and when they come in, we'll come on in, we'll sanitize, make sure you're wearing your mask, make sure you're symptom free today, and make sure you remain socially distanced, six feet apart from others. You will notice one-way signage throughout the building. So for example, you'll see these arrows right here. These arrows will tell you which way to walk. So for example, you'll walk up these stairs because each staircase is also one way. You'll also see friendly reminders to keep your mask on. This is the RHS East entrance. This is where bus students will arrive for this upcoming school year. If students arrive before eight, we're asking them just to wait outside, um, six feet apart at these blue tick marks. And then at 8 o'clock, we'll unlock the door. We'll have an administrator at each entrance, and we'll continue to follow the same procedure for all the entrances, the east, the main, and the west entrance, which is make sure you're wearing your mask, make sure you hand sanitize when you enter the building, and make sure you remain socially distanced from others six feet apart, and make sure you're symptom-free. And as we walk into the building when we arrive to school, you have two options, to go to the cafeteria to eat breakfast. There'll be assigned seating in the calf, or you can go right to your classroom first period. The school day is going to start at 8.15 in the morning and students will be allowed in no earlier than 8 a.m. So when you come into the cafeteria, you'll notice one-way signage going in this way, the side closest to the hallway, and coming out the other side of the cafeteria. It'll be grab-and-go style. Let's take a look at the cafeteria to see what it looks like. Okay. Inside the classroom, students will be seated approximately six feet apart from each other. Students will need to continue to wear their masks throughout the day, covering both their nose and their mouth. Students will not um, be, ex be sharing supplies. If supplies need to be shared, students must disinfect those supplies before and after usage. And lastly, after the period ends, students will have the opportunity to disinfect their desk area um, before leaving as well as using the hand sanitizer. This is a requirement for all students. Students will be transitioning over 10 minutes in between periods. Students will have two separate transition times, each lasting five minutes. This will allow us to stagger student dismissals between periods so that approximately only 150 students are transitioning at one time throughout the building. You'll notice each staircase is designated as one way. We know this will increase your walking time in between each period, but that's okay because you have plenty of time to get from class to class. Keep in mind, it may take you longer, so just be patient and remain six feet apart at all times. Students will have access to water through our hydration stations. We have three of them throughout the building. To use the hydration station, you just put your cup underneath and the water will come out. Right now we haven't activated it yet. When students go to the bathroom, students will be asked to go into the bathrooms one at a time. You'll notice students are seated, uh, standing six feet apart from each other. We have these red stickers that are indicating where to stand. When going to the bathroom, teachers will give students a yellow pass. This yellow pass will be hooked onto the outside of the bathroom. These yellow passes are disposable. So after coming back from the bathroom, after you use it, wash your hands, you come back, you take your pass back, you throw it out, and you go back to class. This is the Rockland High School Lecture Hall. We'll also be using the auditorium, back gym, and the cafeteria's large classroom spaces. What a large classroom space allows us to do is some classrooms which average about 18, we needed some bigger classes. So this class size could be about 30 to 32 students, where 15 come one week, 15 students come the next week. Students will be spaced safely six feet apart. There's dots on each of these chairs, these red dots, which indicate where students should be sitting. Um, typically what you'll find in the auditorium and lecture hall is we go every other row and we have students seated at each end um, of the row. This location here, which is outside the auditorium and across from the lecture hall on what we call Main Street, is going to be one of our locations set up for indoor mass breaks. Now typically a mass break we'd love to be held outdoors 
uh, where students could take off their masks and take a break. Um, but also, if we need to do indoor mask breaks in case the weather's not very good, we have these red dots which indicate where students can sit or stand, I should say. They'll be nine feet apart and they can take off their mask. This is the back gym, also known as the auxiliary gym. Some of you may have this location on your schedule for either class, because this could be a big classroom space. Don't worry, we won't be using all these desks for class. We'll only be using about 15 to 20 desks for class. But you see so many desks in here because this is going to be our second eating area for lunch. So some of you will be assigned lunch in the back gym. Uh, if you're assigned lunch in the back gym, we'll tell you during orientation in the first day of school. Now, just keep in mind that after you use these spaces, these large classroom spaces, you'll be disinfecting. You'll have a spray bottle, you'll have paper towels, you'll be disinfecting your area and then throwing it into the trash barrel and then self-sanitizing with hand sanitizer or washing your hands. This is our final entrance. This is the Rockland High School West entrance. So this is entrance is designed for this year for student drivers and parent drop-offs. So when you do come in in the morning, you can self-sanitize. You need to self-sanitize. You need to have your mask covering your nose and your mouth. And you need to remain socially distant and be symptom-free. You come into the building, like we talked about, you'll go to the CAF. You will go to class right at 8 o'clock. Classes start at 8.15. But what happens when you get dismissed? We're going to start dismissal at 2.35. Grade 12 will get dismissed first. Grade 11 will get dismissed five minutes later. Grade 10 will get dismissed five minutes later. And then grade 9 at 2.50 will be the last group to get dismissed. When students get dismissed, you'll typically go out the entrance you came in. But for the people that came through the west in the morning, this is a one-way only. So you're going to have to go through the RHS east exit. That way you can get out of the building and walk around the middle school to get to your cars and to meet your parents for pickup. Thank you very much for joining today on this tour of Rockland High School for the 2020-2021 school year. We're very looking forward to having you come back to our building and having a great academic year. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.